I'm Margaret N. Windsor. Uh, that's my real name. And uh, I have to go by the name of Peggy Ann Dempsey. I married at Childers. Uh, I was kidnapped in 1941 from Buckingham Palace and brought to Moulton, Alabama, given the name of a twin. Both twins had been murdered by their mother, Lina Dempsey. I was placed in her arms, and there was a photo taken of me given to her uh, and I also remember my father's portrait that was sit uh, was sitting there and placed up in a little tiny cubby hole in that hell hole there called a farm. And I used to crawl up, and I don't know how they got it through the, uh, the hole there, uh, up into that little small space. But anyway, I used to crawl up there a few times and look at it. I was just, I was little. And uh, it disappeared like all the pictures that were taken of me until I got to school. And I guess they couldn't destroy all those. But why I'm making this is I've got a lot up on YouTube, Facebook, and I faced so much hell um, here after I found, well, before I found out about my kidnapping and my real name and who my father and mother are. And I hope I'm not being redundant. I'm allergic to chemicals. I have an immune disorder. When I'm force-fed toxic fumes, uh, my immune system attacks itself. And right now, I've been soaked, and uh, the inflammation gets so bad. I am fine when I'm away from it. So this has been deliberate. And I, I just all night long, I'm rolling in the bed because of the freon that's loose. So this, uh, I could go on and on, but I've put it up. So this, if you see this video, some people would d dismiss it. I don't care if I had all kinds of information out there. But they've uh, deliberately kept me homeless, kept me to where I had no money, and soaked me with fumes, toxic fumes. And I have referred to uh, retired Virginia State Trooper Carl Barton. His wife, uh, Linda, uh, was telling me, this is the way we run. You make you go from one place to the other. Uh, now, my word's been made no good. I usually, on the videos, put up Larry Flint. He was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, and I was writing about mind control murders. I had worked for doctors. This was uh, March the 6th of 78. That was a program shooter that shot Mr. Flint and killed his attorney in Lawrenceville. Now that I'm fast-forwarding back to this, I usually show his video, uh, his uh, endorsement. He did an endorsement in Hustler when I ran after I ran for Congress, but for the presidency in '84. So I usually put it up because people know he was shot, and at least they take time to look and maybe read. But going back to um, this woman, Elizabeth. Uh, Emily Windsor, she calls herself Craig, C-R-A-G-G. -G. She's got a lot of videos up, and she got a lot of play, uh, interviews, etc. And I got to say, she does resemble me a bit. Now then, I put a video up, um, one made just prior to this, and I couldn't hear it, so I don't know if the voice was there, so I'm remaking it, and I'm going to put both of them up. I did look at one of her YouTubes, and uh, at least a portion of it, and she was saying that, um, she's calling Edward VIII her father. She said in 1937 that he did went somewhere with Wallace Simpson. By that time, they had become, uh, the imposter was, had taken over my father's identity, and uh, this had to be the imposter that was Wallace and whoever she's talking about in 1937. My father, Edward VIII, was married to my mom, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe Windsor, from, um, uh, my mom was from Madison, Wisconsin, Sun Prairie, and um, she was a school teacher that lived out in Bel Air. So, my, in other words, it's a total lie. I don't know who her father is. Certainly not my father. Maybe the imposter is. 
maybe the imposter is even part of the royal family. I don't know. In kin to my father, I don't know. All I know is uh, my father was married. He did not become the Duke and Duchess of Windsor at all. Uh, it was a total takedown of my father, and they got away with it, unless finally this is all told, and I hope and pray it is. Uh, my, f my sons, I, my mom and dad, and the British people have suffered way, way too much because of this whole thing. Uh, I did want to mention this. Uh, Churchill was not a friend of my father. You get into the Illuminati, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, the Jews. Uh, Roosevelt appointed the Kennedy, Joe Kennedy ambassador to England from 36 till they kicked him out in 45. And uh, the Kennedys were in on it. <laughs> Kennedy's shooting would have led back to my kidnapping. And I'll say this before I go, there was a lot of things done in pattern, like the shooting of Larry Flint. I was doing a book about mind control. And there's a list, a list, and a list, a long one, of people um, killed using mind control. The uh, Virginia Tech next door is one of them. And some of these can be proven, the ones that I speak of. They were done deliberately, I assume, at some point to tell. But um, I, I guess I'm going to stop here because I've been soaked in fumes and this is a reaction. I'm uh, just so sick I can't stand it. Uh, and it shouldn't be. I'm in close quarters and um, that's why, I, in part, it's why I tended out at times. Most of the time it was because I was kept penniless and homeless. But um, this woman is not my half-sister. In other words, I'm going to say this, and I, I'm going to just say this. I was on, um, a friend of mine came over and helped me, uh, I got a new phone and helped me download uh, the messenger on Facebook. And uh, a friend of mine, I thought I liked her, was on Facebook and uh, uh, the messenger. Well, suddenly, day before yesterday, I get all these phone, uh, all these uh, messages and a phone call yesterday when I came through the door wanting me to meet with this woman over and over and over. And uh, finally, I uh, uninstalled Messenger until sometime later when I get it back. But it really hurts to know what's happened and know the lies told about my father. My father was a very decent man. Why do you think they took him down? Why do you think that they never mentioned my mother? My mother, I'll say this, because the people that told me were the, the people I trust, and they did not lie about this. I, well, that was my mom in 86 October up here in Virginia. And if this doesn't go, I'm going to run over time. My mom was there. She's alive. My dad was alive October of 86. So no way in heck did my father uh, go anywhere with this woman, Wallace Simpson. A double did. Now, I wanted to add this. At the library when I first came here in 86, there was a British gentleman that was the uh, manager there or director of the downtown Roanoke Library. This is where I saw my mother. And uh, I thought it was Georgia O'Keeffe later, but it was my mom. I cried when I kissed her on the cheek. And um, let me just say this, and, and so that you can understand a bit, if anybody cares, the, at the Roanoke Library where this happened, for about... I don't know how many years later, quite a few, five, six, seven, eight, they actually had in the library working, they were lookalikes of my dad, and a woman was working there that looked like Wallace Warfield Simpson. Okay? So they worked there, and this didn't just happen at that time and everything. And you really know who they looked like. It was shocking. 
but my dad never fathered this woman. I don't know who she is. I think she was born in 1945. Um, so, 